How far are you willing to go for a smoother face or plumper lips? Would you go as far as taking matters into your own hands and doing it at home? Tonight, the worrying new trend that has the experts on edge. A lot of the patients who are injecting filler themselves are learning how to do this on YouTube or TikTok. DIY cosmetic surgery is the latest viral trend. You take the plunger out and then we are going to put the product in. It's just unfathomable that people would think that it was safe or appropriate to be able to buy these things online and inject this stuff into your own face. These medical experts warn, don't do it at home. I'm going to take it out because I didn't feel the bone. <laughs> and I had like the whole needle in and I didn't feel the bone. <laughs> so that's scary. Videos of people injecting filler themselves at home have been popping up on social media. Do that and it's high powered and it just goes straight through, but it doesn't cause any damage. It's usually just like a little bit, a little blood mark will be there. Cosmetic surgeon Dr Viveka Ranki. When they do this, there are risks associated because A, the filler that they're injecting is not TGA approved and B, they're not trained health professionals who know how to safely inject filler into their bodies. In Australia, injectables can be performed by doctors and nurses who undergo appropriate training. In Australia, it is not legal for people to purchase Schedule 4 drugs online and it is not legal for people to import the Schedule 4 drugs from external suppliers. So from our research, what we found is patients are purchasing fillers from quite sophisticated websites and a lot of them are based overseas. And the instructions that come with the fillers that are being purchased online are often in broken English. This American surgeon's taken to YouTube to warn against do-it-yourself cosmetic procedures and to correct misinformation. I picked up this big bad boy, which is Replenogen Rift Deep with Lidocaine. Replenogen. I have no idea what filler that is. I mean, none of this makes sense. You know, just it's just... It's just bad. I mean, it's bad because she could have a real problem after this type of injection. Filler and the accessories needed to inject it are cheap and easy to purchase online. This website is selling one mil for $21, advertised for the lips, nose and cheeks. Another is spruiking dermal filler from just $15. The same website has another product, $35 and you'll get it within three days. Buy it online for $66 here. We recently had a patient that injected filler into her own nose and she purchased the filler online. When she presented, she had a dusky nose as well as um, compromised skin on top of the nose as well. The blood vessel was blocked and the patient was in pain and at risk of losing her nose and her eyesight. If she waited even a few hours, then basically she can lose the skin on the tip of her nose or she can lose some of the deeper tissues as well. And this can cause permanent disfigurement. According to the TGA, dermal fillers are prescription-only products and dermal fillers containing hyaluronic acid are generally regulated as a high-risk medical device and therefore must be included in the Australian Register of Therapeutic Goods before they can be lawfully supplied in Australia. The TGA told a current affair it works closely with Australian Border Force and state and territory authorities to detect potentially harmful products being imported into Australia unlawfully. When you're buying things online, you don't know if what you've ordered is actually what you get uh, or whether it could have been contaminated or a different product entirely. Dr Danielle McMullen's president of the Australian Medical Association, New South Wales. It might seem attractive to get some filler on the cheap, uh, but with the complications that are likely to happen if you try and do it yourself, you'll actually find yourself running up a much bigger bill down the track uh, because that rectification work is often lengthy, difficult and quite expensive to do. And it's only like $25 every time I do it. At the end of the day, you can't put a price on health. Oh, it's horrifying, isn't it? Don't do it at home. Leave it to the professionals.